What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we are going to be doing another tier list and this is going to be the tier list of the best pink diamonds in NBA 2K20 my team. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we're trying to 200,000 subscribers as soon as possible and right now we are just over 19,000 off I think. Yeah, we're just a tiny bit over 19,000 which would be, uh, be crazy though if we could hit that by NBA 2K21. Now we are going to get on to the players. Again, I can guarantee you I forgot some of them. There's also a bunch of really, really similar players. I didn't want to talk about all of them. But, um, yeah, so we're going to start off with Desmond Mason. So Desmond Mason has some of the worst drill moves in the game. His third legs behind the back are super slow. But the thing is, is that he's basically like a Devin Booker type person, which is like bad dribble moves, but really got everything else. He's actually got a super long wingspan. His jump shot is really, really nice. His dunking's good. So... Because his dribble moves are poor, I can't really put him in S or A tier in terms of pink diamonds. But I'm going to put him B tier because he's he's solid. He is more than solid. Then we've got Yi Jian Lian. So a lot of people like would have seen him as a novelty because he's a seven foot tall small forward. But I think he's he's a little bit better than that. I do actually think that this card is quite good. Um, at the power forward position, I think he is very very effective. He's a really nice shooter. I really like that Jonathan Isaac release. And I think overall, he is definitely, definitely a good card. Is he a game changer? Not really. But is he good? I wouldn't use him on small forward, even though he is a bit of a novelty there. He's a really solid power forward, so I'm going to put him in A tier. Then we got Rick Smith. So Rick Smith's a giant who can shoot the ball. He's going A tier. He has one problem that he doesn't have Pogo. Not having Pogo is definitely a problem for a card. And for that reason, I can't really put him above A tier. I can't really um, justify putting him in S tier. I'll leave a little bit of a gap here. Um, can't justify putting him in S tier, but A tier, he's good. Like, really good release, 7 4, big body, good defender, and his overall good card. Then we got Jack Sigma. This is a really close one. I'm going to put him in A tier, but in terms of just pick and pop jump shooting bigs, he's arguably the best in the game. He is a fantastic, fantastic shooter. I am a big, big fan of Jack Sigma. He is big, he's got a wide body, he's moderately quick, does everything well. And it's just a great card. Walter Davis. This is our first. This is going to be our first S tier. This is going to be our first S tier player. I'm telling you lads. Walter Davis is like. He's basically DeMar DeRozan. Without Hall of Fame limitless range. So he's got gold limitless. He is so so good. Like. I was using my best team for the longest time. He is more than. He's more than usable. More than usable. At 7 foot. I'm sorry. At 6 foot 6. A little bit undersized. But. He is a very, very solid shooting guard. If he was a point guard, you'd be seeing, uh, you'd be still to this day, you'd be seeing so many people use him. But um, yeah, no, Walter Davis is a really good card. Then we got Michael Finley. Michael Finley is just a pretty decent 3 and D wing who can go to the basket. Like, he's kind of a jack of all trades. I do like his release, but he doesn't do anything like well enough to go top two tiers, but he is a really good card. Don't get me wrong. Then we got well, uh, Vlade Dibac. So... I don't think Vlade is going to sick map because I think he's released that little bit slower and he moves kind of slow, but Vlade is a beast. <sighs> Again, putting him in B tier just means that he, I don't put him in like the top 20 pink times. It does not mean this card is not a beast. He's a great shot blocker. If he's open, he is cash. He's His dribbling isn't great because he has bad dribble animations, but isn't the worst dribbler. You can't really point center cheese with him. Overall, though, he is a really, really nice center, and definitely, I think, after Sigma is the next best center from Historic Spotlight Sims. So, now we're on to Thurl Bailey, and Thurl, initially, I was going to put Thurl in a higher tier, and I think I would have in other, in once past, but it's hard to put Thurl below A tier, because he's got good animations, he's a giant, he's 6'11", he shoots the ball moderately well. The release and the lack of a post game keep him off S tier, but he is really, really good. Next, we've got Tyler Hero. So Tyler Hero is a card that, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I know for a fact, I know for a fact people can cook with this card. So I'm not going to put him, uh, oh, I'll put him in A, I'll put him in A. Because again, a lot of people can cook with him, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to be blasphemous and put him in B tier. Because he does have one of the fastest releases in the game. Hall of Fame quick draw, really nice dribble moves. And if he could play the point guard position, he would 100% be an S tier. Then we've got Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins is solid. He's like a worse Nick Batum or worse Cam Reddish. He is just bang average. He is solid. He's not going to 
He's not gonna be a negative on your team, but he's just gonna be a solid player. Ben Wallace, I think Ben Wallace is better than Wig. Yeah, Ben Wallace, I'm gonna put an A tier. I'm a big, big fan of Ben Wallace. Release, like as far as three and D cones go, he might be right up there at number one. His defense is ridiculous. Blocks shots really well, plays great interior and perimeter defense. Is just unreal in terms of defense. So I'm not gonna be crazy and put him lower than A tier. Then we got Michael Red. I would consider it. I would half consider putting him in S tier, but no, I'll put him in A tier. Red has got good enough dribbling animations. He's a fantastic shooter. His release is not a release that I'm incredible with, but it's by no means a bad release by it, like at all. So I definitely do think that he's a good card. Then we have got Kristaps Porzingis. So KP, I'm gonna put him in B tier. There's something about Kristaps I don't really like this year. And as far as I know, he doesn't have clamps. Actually, if he doesn't have clamps, I might actually put him in a lower tier. Actually, no, no, I'll put him in. I'll keep him in that tier because if you can, you can hide him a center a lot of times, and sometimes you're okay um, without clamps at a center position. But just having a look at his card stats right now. Yeah, he doesn't have clamps, but again, he's basically the same as the other pink diamond. A really kind of solid card, can shoot the lights out, so I'll put him in B tier. I actually prefer his release without a half quick draw and with go quick draw than with half quick draw. So, Minute Bowl. I don't really like this Minute Bowl card. I'm going to be honest. Um, I think he fits a role. He fits a purpose, so I'm going to put him B tier. But I just run around him every time I play against him. Kevin Durant is not good in this game. He is not good at all. Especially, like whatever bit the Opal, especially on goal quick draw. I'm not putting him above B tier. He's worth about 30k and he's like... I think, is he still? He probably isn't with the Super Packs. He's probably under 100k. But um, yeah, I would say he is probably... I don't even know. He's probably going to be a... Uh, probably going to be under 100k, but he's not worth it. Ralph Sampson is basically like a... He basically, Ralph Sampson is Rick Smith with a worse release and no clamps. So C tier. Rudy. A. I really do like this card. I think he's a he is a very very solid solid card. Clay Thompson, he just is okay. Like there's no other way to describe it. He's okay. And like if you're looking at cards above him, I think that shooting wise he's equal to like a Des Mason or a Finley, except both of these guys can dunk. Um, he doesn't have the greatest dribble moves in the world. Yeah, his defense is good, but so does like everyone above him has Hall of Fame clamps anyway, and he, they can just do more. Like everyone above him can just do more than Clay Thompson. So, yeah, Clay and C tier. I don't think there's much of a point in using him. LeBron. Uh, a or B? A or B? I, I think this card sucks. I think this card is terrible. Like, I didn't like this card when he first came out. But I'm going to put him in A tier. I'll put him in A tier for now. And we got Jimmy Buckets at this stage in the game. C. He, he's outdated. Like, he was really good when he came out, and he's just outdated. Again, Jimmy Butler is a card that could do kind of a little bit of everything. He's just like a worse version of an Andrew Wiggins card. So he's going to go down in C tier. Not like, again, none of these cards are bad. But I just think compared to the others, he's not great. Tracy McGrady. A. Straight up A. Like he still has it. He's still got it, lads. He has still got it. He's still got basically everything you need. He's still fantastic. Then we have got LaMarcus Aldridge. Uh, A. I like Aldridge. I think he's really solid as like a 3 and D player. Overall, we're not a 3 and D player, like a pick and pop jump shooter and can play a bit of defense as well, especially at the center position. I think he's very, very good for that, especially when if you have someone like Sigma there. Like, it's hard to argue really that Aldridge is worse than Sigma. Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson's got a good enough release, but he doesn't really do much particularly well. I think he's a little bit undersized, even for the small four position and... Yeah, I like the card, but B tier. Where's on sale? No question. No question about it. This is where we're going to start to see a lot of S tier. Where's on sale is the best pink time point guard game. Where's on sale is so much better than LeBron. Like, it's not even funny how much better Where's on sale is than LeBron. Like, Bong is probably as good as LeBron. But, like, on sale, next level. This card is so good. Then we've got Darius Miles. Uh, S. S tier. I'm a big, big fan of Darius Miles' release. A lot of people don't like the release. I am a big fan of it. So he's got like Michael Beasley's release, except it's right-handed. It looks awkward, but I think it's really easy to green. Also, he's one of the best slashers in the game, period. 
So I'm gonna put him in S tier. Then we got Reggie Theus uh, B. Reggie Theus. Oh, Reggie Theus is good as he's as good as LeBron. I think I'm gonna move LeBron down a tier. I'm gonna move LeBron down to B tier. Like I don't necessarily think that either of these are particularly good anymore. I'm gonna move both of them down to B. Like Reggie's as good as LeBron. Straight up, he's as good as LeBron. Um, then we have got Gerald Green. Gerald Green. Uh, he's like Wiggins, so I'll put him in B tier. He's an okay height for a two guard, but again, it's just a, a pretty decent wing. Doesn't have anything particularly exceptional going for him, but he is a good card. He is without question a good card. Jeff Green is in the equal to Darius Miles. He's going into S tier, and Jeff Green is incredible. Jeff Green, the two of these guys, like if you run these guys to three and four in a God squad, you're gonna be fine. Like there's a reason why you see, like I personally think Darius Miles, I'm a bigger Darius Miles fan than most people, but like Jeff Green, like Ty Debo in his Mighty Madness term, like these are turns for a thousand dollar prize money and Ty Debo's out here running with Jeff Green, the team. Jeff Green is still starting on my team, uh, well, he's not still starting, he's still on my main team. So for that reason, I'm putting him in S tier. Paul Silas, mini Paul George, um, A tier. I'm a big fan of this card. I'm a big, big fan of Paul Silas. He's like 6'7 lefty Paul George with like perfect defense. He has absolutely no negatives whatsoever, except for the fact his card art looks really bad and he's a spotlight sim card. This card is actually really good. Then we've got Derek Rose. So D Rose... I'm going to put him in B tier. I actually do like this card, and it's going to be like the same tier as Westbrook, as Jamarant. I can't even think of any other ones. Lance Stevenson. A or B? I'll put him B. I do like Lance, though. I do like Lance. I think he's a really nice card. I don't think his card is much better than his Amethyst, apart from the fact that he can play point guard. But he can do everything. He can dunk, shoot, and play defense. So he's going to go B. And we have got Eddie Curry. S tier, no question about it, a top five center in the game, and you can argue a top two center in the game. He is unbelievable, lads. He is absolutely unbelievable. Then we have got Nikolai Jokic, and this is a tough one because in the right hands, he can be a complete mismatch problem. However, most of the time, he's going to be terrible. I love coming up against him because I run around him. However, in the right hands, he can't be effective. Oh, it's hard not to... It's hard not to put him, like for me anyway, he'd be like C or D tier. He'd be like C or D, but I'm gonna put him in B, put him in the middle. Then we have got, what's his name? Uh, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman is one of the worst offensive players in the game while also being the single best defensive wing in the game. So it's kind of a tough one, but looking at the cards that are one tier ahead, like, for example, Gerald Green, while he's not quite the defender, he can actually play offense. And so can someone like Wiggins. Who, while they're not quite Dennis Rodman level defenders, I'm going to put Rodman in C tier. I don't, I just don't enjoy using the card. And I know as good as he is, most people don't enjoy using him. He actually has a good green win though. So if you want to put Rodman in a higher tier, go for it. I'm not going to question it. Then we got Dino Raja. Dino is S tier. No question about it. In terms of overall centers, the only reason he's out of S tier is because of that flagrant foul tendency. However, Dino has got unbelievable handle. He's got extendo arms. He can dunk on everybody at great release. And I'm telling you, if this was NBA 2K19, you better believe everyone would be sticking limitless range on him and playing Dino at point guard. That's how good the guard is. Then we have got Pascal Siakam. So Siakam, I'm going to put him... I'll put him in A. Siakam's got some great length, shoots the lights out, and is just overall just... A great, great card. Then we got Giannis Antetokounmpo. S. No question about it. Are probably the best ping time in the game. Either him or Eddie Curry. Giannis is exceptional. Giannis is glitchy behind the back, where if you just spam behind the backs and someone off balls you, you'll glitch past the computer. He shoots the ball quite well. I'm struggling at the minute with his release, but nah, Giannis is really, really good. Then we got Kawhi Leonard. Uh, I'll go B. I'll go B. He is... No, he's, he's S. He's S. He's S. Definitely he's S. Kawhi Leonard's as good on the wing as Darius Miles or Jeff Green. But he's not as good at power forward. He's definitely as good on the wing. So Kawhi Leonard's S tier. And also in S tier is Paul George. Paul George, really, really good. Chris Webber. 
When Chris Webber came out, he had a bit of a novelty about him that he was the only half quick first step center in the game. Also, you could shoot the ball a little bit and have a Hall of Fame dimer. However, the novelty kind of wore off after a while. And while, yeah, he's not a terrible card, he's still not very good. So, we probably don't have a, have a D tier player at all here. I'm going to put him in C tier. Then Westbrook, as I said, right behind Derrick Rose, and there's a bunch of similar cards. And Dwayne Wade, no question, S tier. Dwayne Wade is going to be an S. Dwayne Wade in his respective tier. I'm going to do a diamond one tomorrow. But in the respective tiers, Dwayne Wade is S no matter what. So anyway, that's the video. None of these are bad cards. Uh, as you guys can see, I've just completely left out D tier. But um, yeah, no, I think I think these are all really good cards. And the pink diamond tier, especially the fact that most of these guys... I don't think is there any of these that are over 100k? Kawhi? Is that really it? Most of these guys are somewhat affordable and fantastic cards. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.